It's a moment in time for you. People want to know what you going to do in this moment. Yeah, they do. They no what ass. you going to do. I'm going to get to your ass, baby. Make room on my plate. I just said my grace and then I ate. Got a particular taste. I just stuffed my pockets in my face. Okay, let's have a debate. We talking about popping. I promise I'm feeling the way. I took the bodies up out of my closet. I buried them deep and they still in the way. Yo, this is a nice uh, place you have here, sir. Yeah, man, you know, hard work pays off, baby. So is this, right now, this album, the most in the, I guess we would say, in the weeds of not just the recording process, the writing of the music, but the, the ideas, the- The ideas, the creating the moments around it. Cause I just feel like a lot of us artists now, man, wanna just like drop. That mm -hmm. shit ain't enough, and it ain't fair really to the fan base because you're not giving them nothing but some songs. Right. And for this for, for this project, I just wanted to really like show personality and be more fun, like not so serious and like let people see that side of me, you feel me? When you first came out with the Migos, were you not wanting to show, didn't know how to show, wasn't really sure about trusting the industry? Like what was I was your... trying to keep my, keep, not give too much. Right. You know what I'm saying? I give too much, but was, it was the wrong thinking. I was just thinking like, keep a little, little things private. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like all the artists I looked up to, you didn't really know too much about them, mm -hmm. but what they showed. Right. And then the game changed. Right. And so you got to show the people and bring them into your world. Right. And then they dive more into you. I feel like. They believe in you. Exactly. Now, is it scary for you? Nah, man, you know why? I, I, I feel like I'm super comfortable cause I'm in control. Mm. I'm in control creatively, business-wise. Everything is, is like in my hand and I like to be hands-on and touch and talk to people myself because mm -hmm. I feel like I can get it done quicker or I could learn. Because sometimes when you have so many people doing shit for you, you're really not learning, you just knowing what you told and not understanding how shit goes and what you got, what it takes. Like even me, even for me to like turn my music in instead of being last minute, like even to that small shit, like that shit matters. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a big difference. Like being able to uh, work with your label and help them help you by opening the book. Cause it'd be like, sometimes we just present the book like here, make this shit go or help us, help me boost this shit. And they really not into the, into the whole motion of what you're doing. So you can't really get the best mm -hmm. for yourself. Do you get to spend a lot of time in LA? LA is work, more work based. My lawyers here, my agents are here. Um, I feel like you can go to Target and run into a filmmaker and actually do a film with him mm. off of that run of Target. So it's business, but home, I always be uh, Jersey. Yeah. In Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. So you in the weeds on the music. We're going to go downstairs, listen to the album, talk through the album, but the wife is on the album two times. For sure. She What's that conversation to get, you know, because she's working on her own music. She got her own plans. She got her own shit. Yeah. You know, y'all do the family thing for us on social media, but I'm sure when it comes to she the music, got her own shit, yeah. she got her own thing she's doing. What are you asking? Like, uh, so check this out. I, I need a couple of uh, verses. Or is no, she like, hey, babe, I need to be on this album. No, so for Jealousy, I played her Jealousy and I felt like, babe, get on this. I asked her to get on that. Yeah. And then after Jealousy, she was like, I think I, I want to do another one. Oh, y'all did, she, she yo, y all did porn can. rap on there. That's, yeah, that's yeah, freaky. Y'all yeah, yeah. y'all giving us the bedroom playbook. Yeah, man. I mean, get a little nasty. I thing. fast forwarded at first. I was like, I know y'all too well. I can't be listening to. <laughs> I'm like, it's too much yeah. information. I feel like she wanted to uh, do a girl, a female record right. too. Also, have girls shaking ass and shit. You know yeah. how she wants. She wants. She wanted some lit yeah. shit. And she told me that's why she's on. The, like we 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 split we split the uh, chorus. But I had to plug my shit in. It was her at first. So she was like, I want you to do this song. I was like, let's go back and forth on the vibe and make it a vibe and. That was a good one. Fuck with it. That was a good one. The album title. Yeah. Uh, how'd you come with that? Very inspired off the movie. Yeah. Um, set it off. Black film. Yeah. And also it's just like my mood, like it's self-titled too, backwards. Offset. Oh, set it off. Yeah, okay. So okay. it's self-titled backwards. And I just felt like I've been sitting on this, sitting, sitting down out the way for a minute. And it's my time, man. I gotta blow some shit up. So I'm still here. Yeah. For forget you, man. Just, well, I guess that's what I was kind of trying to tap into with the scary part is because you have been through so much personally with the loss uh, of Tate and, you know, Quavo doing his solo and just everything you've had to go through in real life. Yeah. Even your last solo, y'all was still a click. 
Right. You know what I mean? It was Migos was still a thing. Yeah. On the last solo when you had the kids on the album cover and you was, you know, talking your dad shit and talking, you know, mature. You was maturing mature. on that album. Yeah, I was trying to give him the real. Yeah, like I was trying to give him the real me and some of my thought process of yeah. how I'm, I'm a grown man. Like you see the glitz and glam, but I got real shit going on. Yeah. So I guess that's why I say because the energy is different. Yeah. Right. Like takes no longer with us. You know what I'm saying? So I got to imagine creating and then putting it out to the world with this level of expectation and everything yeah. that y'all built together. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of pressure, but at the same time, I got a strong team, a good team that I trust and believe in yeah. creatively. And also I believe in myself. Like I got them like, I got them rockets by myself too though. Yeah. You no, it's heat on there. We're going to so, go so, into so. it. Like I'm saying, even like in the past, like I done made some oh, yeah, some yeah. records by myself. So it's like, it's a lot of pressure, but at the same time, I like the pressure though. Mm. I like the pressure. I like the, 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 the underdog feel. And like, you need that. You can't feel like you're on the top because it ain't no room for perfection after that. Like you already good. You feel like you got it all. And I like the depression of me, you know what I'm saying? Sitting down for a minute, all these other new guys coming through. And then now it's time for Big Dog to step yeah, back in. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? As a fan of hip hop, um, I'm sure you're seeing a transition in the game. Yeah. New artists, more established artists being people more critical of them. Yeah. Are you watching all that energy from? Hell yeah. I'm not, what are you I'm, seeing? I'm, I'm, I'm noticing that like no content music ain't catching nobody here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing that like the numbers are down and our genre specifically because I feel like everything is so the same. Like mm -hmm. the next new is another that was just here. Like, it's nothing new being brought to the game, not just on the sound side, but just all the way around as, like, creatively, too. Like, the most videos be, be like, a Rolls Royce in the background, some chains on, and and that shit getting boring, fellas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like no real entertainment while you got these pop and these country artists smoking shit because they coming with the full round, like, the full package. You know what and I'm saying? It ain't the same. Like, they telling and stories and... Yeah, everything ain't flexing. If it's three rappers, then not. And it's a hundred rappers, then it's like all these out the wild is gonna turn the pages because it ain't nothing new. How long you been in the game now? Ten. 2013. It's 23. Ten on. Solid decade, baby. Proud. So you're, you're you're an established artist. Yes, established. You're established. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, catalog is there. Hearing you talk about entertainment value is very interesting. Clearly you see that, you know, you need to go somewhere to bring people on a journey. Yeah, they want to feel like experience. That's what I always say, like, you got to give a fan experience. Experience is you, not you on the mic. Like, that shit don't be enough, bro. Then you like taxing on the ticket sales. Like, you know what I mean? On $200 a ticket, but you, I ain't got no production, it ain't no, I feel like a show is like a movie. It's the beginning, middle, conclusion, the end. You gotta have some dialogue and that shit. You gotta have some choreo and that shit. You gotta have some wild moments you gotta have with somebody, everybody in the crowd feeling your painful song. Mm -hmm. The colors and the lasers or the lights of the show is what matter also too. And I just feel like educationally wise, like it's not diving into that and learning that. It ain't never too late. And so that's why if you look at the lineups, this is getting thinner and thinner on them lineups. They're not trying to pay you $600,000 to come just walk this stage, brother. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's that time. It's that time for me it's to change time. this shit, man. Cheers and set it off. Set it off. Congrats, brother. New chapter. Came a long way. Don T. You sounded good over that Busta Rhymes sample with the guitars. That motherfucker flapping in Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't supposed to like I should've got on that one. Yeah, and, and tell him on the remix, we got it. Fly crib. What's up, son? Got the brother on the wall. Yes, sir. Got two. Appreciate you letting us in here too once Come more, on, man. man. You know you sound man. You've been pulling up on me. So you got the Michael Jackson glove on now. Yeah, man. You had the you had the Michael Jackson soldier thing at the Beyonce too. The inspo of Mike is pushing that narrative of like taking it to the next level and taking it there, making my videos more film like, having dialogue in the videos, a little choreo in the videos. 
different chapters to the videos. And also like the story of him like coming from his family. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? He come from his family and wanting more for himself and feeling like it's nothing personal, but it's like just a self preservation where you want to be on another, the next level, right? Yeah. And when I did the Beyonce thing, I respect her showmanship and how much she puts into her performances. Cause she on that mic. She's on, she that, on mic. that mic. She is. She not playing any. I, all games. these other comparisons, it's Cap. It's Beyonce. She is. She is that mic where she could go out there and 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 wow you the whole Elec time. What they used to say, electrify. Electrify. The old school saying, the seventies <laughs> joint. Electrify. It was takeoff that was really getting y'all together as a group, though. No, for sure. So you had, while you loved Mike and loved music young and was doing kind of some entertainment with the music videos, you, at a certain point, the streets was calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting this money. I was trying to give me some money because I just felt like shit. I wanted things that I couldn't get. And I didn't want to work because that shit don't get you the things. I seen all my people struggle working these jobs and shit. Niggas could barely pay for the for the rent or pay yeah. for anything, right. cars beat up. And like shit, I always felt like I was that nigga to be honest, especially when I, by the time I got to high school, you know, you start getting cool, dropping your nuts a little bit and like, oh, I'm that guy. And I felt like already then I had an image. Like a lot of the bros, like they ain't go to college and shit or do nothing. And then like, I ain't, I wanted to be having some money. I ain't give a fuck what I had to do to get the money, and mm -hmm. which was, it was now that I'm old, it's like, damn, that shit was kind of stupid, but I'm glad everything I went through in my life all the head bumps and like even going to jail and shit like that shit made me a man and helped me understand like life was real because I was taking this shit as a joke and it made me appreciate a lot of shit like losing bros too like losing friends like to the streets too like it made me see like it made me like look at like life way different in a bigger picture like and then I just wanted more for myself too you know. I'm growing up, bro. I got kids and shit. My mind is a totally different from when I was younger, but I do remember everything I did. And I had a lot of courage and I did not, and I never was scared to like go after what I think I should have. But Atlanta too, you know, obviously watching from when, you know, LA Reed go down to Atlanta and start LaFace and, and develops like a real music scene down there to where things are today. Things have changed a lot. A lot. And you know, I think the artists that came out 10 years ago around your time, you know, the way the city has, you know, some people survived it, some people, you know, figuring it out, trying to, you know, get free right now, shout out yeah. to everybody trying to get free. That's a real thing. But those streets is is real. Like people ain't, people ain't, everybody ain't figuring it out. Especially in this time, cause it's like the streets is the culture, right? Mm -hmm. The streets also don't want you to, Go too big, you feel me? Oh yeah, nah. It's... They don't want you to get too big, man. Yeah, they want to put a ceiling. They want on you it to now. go too. They want to put a ceiling on it, so it's easy to fall into them, them traps. Cause the shit right there is like your next door neighbor. No matter how successful you get, then you got homies. You got to think about man, like going to no college. They ain't got no careers. You know what I'm saying? If you that chosen one, and you got to look out for all these, but like sometimes it's like. They can't support you the same way. So then it's like a guilt with them. You gotta understand they side too. Like it's a guilt with them, right? We all used to be in the same house sharing food, clothes, whatever. And then like this shit happens and then it's like, damn, I don't really got no skill set. You feel me? Like I can't and jump they, into the business. And then they might be mad at you like you leaving them cause you evolved and you got, you know, stacked your thing and now they angry cause you leveling up. Right, and then leveling up takes like distance from shit. You know what I mean? But see, like finding the hardest thing me, cause I'm a real at the same time too. Like, I can't forget about these guys too, cause it's like when I did not have no money and I didn't have like the cloud in them, and then shit wasn't working. These was there, and like a lot of the bros helped me pick the song. So I'm starting my own label now. The artist Mango Fool on my album is my first artist on this album. You got to see. 21 joints, we gotta get into it. Yeah. I got some favorites. Okay. You know, um, <laughs> that we, we gonna get into. Um, but I, I do appreciate Save My Grace, mm. second track on the album, because hearing you ask those questions, like there's questions in the first verse where you get to ask yeah. some questions. Uh, 
Tell me about writing that song. It was the first song I did after the tragedy, right? Honestly. The beat was just so crazy and I felt like, I wanted like a, a, a lit song that was talking about some shit. Mm -hmm. When it came to me and I was just like, well, I lose my brother to bullets, well, I lose my grandmother to cancer, this is real shit. They're like, that was, those are real painful, but I didn't want to make the song so painful. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like I didn't want to make my project about that. Cause I don't want to relive that shit. And I don't want that shit to be a present like feeling. You know what I'm saying? But on that record, at first I named it Why God. So you know, so you know, I changed the name cause I never want to question God. But that's how this feel though, when you go through that shit and when you see it firsthand, everybody didn't question that shit. Like something happened or anything. And they'd be like, God, why this happened to me? Or, and I knew people would feel how I felt. That was relatable. Th those quotes were relatable. Mm -hmm. First off, cancer is killing our community. And the other shit is too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of people feel that way. And it's like me being able to walk in this light still and still have success. Yeah, because you say that on it. You're like, why I keep getting these chances? Right. And it's like, those are real questions, man. Because sometimes shit happens and you feel like, just why is this it's so, it's such as you caught off guard so much. It's like, what the, f why? Talking to you, it feels like, you know, like you say, you don't want, you don't want this album to be sad. You don't want to live in like a dark negative space. You don't want to keep, but you know, when you ask the question, like, why do I keep getting these chances? Do you feel like almost like a, because you're getting those blessings, you have an obligation to set it off in a way, like to yeah, uplift that's and crazy get it popping and, and like to really, because it's, it's, it's like taking the blessings and appreciating the blessings mm -hmm. and taking advantage of it. Like, don't let nothing distract you from the blessing. And with you acknowledging it, you'll be able to push through. Mm -hmm. When you write a song as an artist, man, I got to imagine that if you're too comfortable, it's harder to generate that. There's got to be some hunger in there, right? Yeah, like yeah. That's why I like going through my ups and downs in music. Because it bring like another beast out you. I feel like it don't give you room for mistakes if you just at the top forever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you didn't grind and get to the top, you just at the top forever. As soon as you make a mistake, everybody, oh, this shit. When it was just maybe a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, all the shit I go through, bro, I'd be happy. But I want to teach my artists what I didn't know. Because there's so much money in this shit. You ain't gotta really like cut it though. It ain't and like if you're a person of your word. Yeah. If you do what you say you're gonna do, they coming with the bag. They coming with the bag. Fashion and hip hop, sports and hip hop, you know, the basketball players and fashion, it's all moving together and has for some time. What is it about the fashion for you and in, in that world? Is the it inspiring? Is, is it it's, just it's inspiring, it's expressive. You can express yourself. Is it is it's a space where it's not a rule. It's mm. freedom. Mm. It's not a rule to it. It's freedom. It's like what you believe in, what you want to wear. Like some people might not like it, but a lot of people will. And it's like hip hop culture, we've always been the face of fashion. That's right. And we don't step into the element of it though and really take advantage of it. Like when we the foref we the, we the forefront of it, like all these high end brands look at us and been doing this shit. You got a lot to say on this album too. So you got the turn up records, you got the, you know, I, I like to call it porn rap. You know what I mean? You talking, you know, that freak talk on here with the wife or even Princess Cut with Chloe got that sexy vibe. You got a record called Blame It On Set. Yeah. I said, you know, you saying some things on Blame It On Set. Yeah. what you think, what you heard me say? I mean, I want you to, you know, <laughs> tell the audience, you know? And like, there's some real important songs on here. Say My Grace. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like things where you really had something to say. Yeah. And I think on the album, from what I'm hearing, you wanted to make sure you delivered on the fun and all that, but you also wanted to deliver on not. I gotta stand on my 10. Yeah. It's just like being counted out and like not respected at the value of, of an artist you are, right? Mm -hmm. And like by me standing against like the odds of like what I can and can't do. Mm. I wasn't going for that no more. And I felt like it was easy to like make me the problem because I wanted more for myself in certain situations. Mm -hmm. 
That was the easiest thing to do. And uh, also, like, don't ever forget I'm him, though. Like, don't ever count me out or put me in a place where I'm not valued or you, you think I'm not valuable or I'm not good enough. I'm the best if I have to be. My back is wall, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight in the fight and I'm gonna make sure like my presence is known. You even got a record called Healthy on here. Yeah. And the reason I'm asking you about these songs is because these are statements. These are records. statement records and I appreciate you asking me. You know. Get to explain them so people can see what the fuck going on. We're at a pivotal time in hip hop where people are looking for more and they may not know where to find it. And that's why I think, you know, people know you. They know you for being in the Migos. They know you're capable, but may not have given you a chance to really, you know, delve into some of these deeper thoughts that you have. Right. But on the healthy record, like, I'm just speaking on uh, becoming successful and also being on my own. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a shit not sweet, shit not easy. I respect solo artists and a whole nother level because it's like everything on you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then speaking on like certain shit, how people say like certain sayings, like the, the line when I said, uh, money don't bring happiness, but I've been happy ever since I got me a couple of M's, mm -hmm. right? So I feel like a lot of people that don't got the money feel that way too, like that money don't bring happiness. I'm not saying money is everything, but it is at the same time in real life. My mama ran out of money with my grandmother with the cancer shit, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you get second and third dairy medications mm -hmm. and shit that don't work, but it lasts you over and get you over a little bit, but it ain't gonna fix the problem, right? Then there's institutes in Houston where they have special places for people with cancer where you have a higher chance of surviving, mm -hmm. but it costs that money. money, right? Money's in there, but it's not just. It's not just, but it is a key factor. Yes. But you also have something very special you got love, bro. Yeah. You got a, I mean, the song is healthy. You have a healthy, I mean, y'all be tripping, acting toxic, but on purpose, but it's a healthy family. Being a dad and a husband, is that put a certain level of pressure on you too? Yeah, for sure. I move like that with everything now, for sure. Right. I'm not playing no game, I'm too grown. Yeah. Too much at stake, too many miles to feed, mm. and too many people to, to let down, to let them down. I can't let them down. What was the hardest record to write? To be honest, the Don Tolliver joint. Why? It was like a layup, like an alley oop, like. And you didn't know what to do with it. Like it was like, what do I do with it? Type I'm of like, thing? cause he's singing. Do I like rap? I mean, but then I don't want to make it too like strong, cause it's a female vibe and it's a player. Like you can get in the car, man, with your lady dinner night and. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like a little different from like the shit I do. Like it was a lot different. Like I've done female records, but like I had to glaze, it was pressure on that cause I felt, I've heard the special, how special it was to the ear. Me, like, like soon I, soon he sent that bitch over. I'm like, man, what the fuck is this? Like this, nigga, the way he hit the know how the pockets, the, ooh, like, I'm like, damn, he already got that soulful ass yeah, voice yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah. he's like an Al Green. Yeah, no, no, for sure. Like, and then, his, then he understand like time and breath control of records. And like, so then I didn't want to do a verse that's like too rappy where it's like lose niggas and all they want to hear is the chorus. Right. Cause it's one of them joints. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a cheat code joint right there. That's yeah. like you said. So like, like, that's why if you notice, I go, I go like a six rep, and I get a little melodic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and use then, this different flow. You do different pockets. Different pockets, because I wanted to talk on some shit real quick. And then on the second verse, I'm like, shit, I might well float that motherfucker like bus. Yeah. You know you want me to what you be playing for. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I might as well do that. Wifey helped me on this verse, on the second verse, because she like, because I call, this is what people understand. On the female shit, I'm gonna call my wife because she gonna give me what the girls wanna say. Mm -hmm. Like she gave me a sh the, sh the Chanel bar because she like girls gonna, they hang with girls that got Chanel's gonna wanna post that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Giving me that game on, you know, it's like, we ain't thinking no shit like that. 
And she like, no, the first verse I cut, she like, no, it's too like sexual for this record. He's like, this ain't about fucking a bitch. And da, 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 da. This kind of like some player shit. You like you're trying to get out of like, so she gave me a like game on, 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 on the female shit. Cause that's what we call shit. It's yeah. female record. I'm, that's dope to hear, man. Give me some game, I need to say so. I guess your, I, I mean technically she A and R, and I mean really she helps you pushing you. She that ain't good enough. Yeah, that ain't it. Tell you this, I don't like this verse, man. I want, I want to, I want to feel good when I hear this verse. You talking to the girls? Mm. Stay on, stay on, stay on topic. Oh, she hits you with the stay on topic. Stay on topic. You talking about the girls leaving them? Da, 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 da. Stay on topic. You know you want me, so what you be playing for? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you there. The message say deliver, so what you delaying for? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then it also like relatable shit. Like you see the message, like you know, arguing with your girl and. She didn't text me fucking back. I don't, you got the message, baby. What's up? How many records y'all went had to go through on this? You and, I mean, obviously she on two. You talking she on about two. the um, Don Tolliver? The Don. When I made Princess Cut, I'm like, what you think about this record? She's like, ooh, you surprising me. <laughs> you surprising me. You, Cause I'm like on some R and B shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You shooting a video for the lotto? Yeah, I'm trying to cook it up, man. I'm trying to get the schedules going, man. Shout out to Lotto, man. Shout out to come through for Atlanta and come stepping. She ain't give me no bullshit verse. She walking that motherfucker and she rapping in the life. She is putting on for the city. She putting on steady for the city. Steady putting on for the city. Steady putting on for the city. Very consistent, man. Shout out to her, man. Sent the verse back in one day. Also somebody who ain't playing games. Like, shout out to Lotto, man. Holding it down for Atlanta. Oh, uh, what's the name of the production company? J3K Logistics. Logistics? Yeah. Well, that's more than music. Yeah. That's like some real brand building. Yeah, I want real company like Fortune 500. I want it to be respected when you see the name and don't attach it so much to like the music. Mm. But it's two different companies. And I also want to, when I go into these film companies, they respect it. You know, the name, people, what they see is what they respect. And it's J3K Logistics. It don't even look like it's attached to me. I got tired of waiting and then like, shooting a video and it might be quoted at a million dollars or some mm. shit. And then I don't know what the fuck, like me, I don't like spending money and not knowing what I'm spending on money. They pad, the, they pad the line items and you like, bro, this thing cost that much this money. Everybody's crazy. eating at every level. And ran a, the number up. At a 10 times number. And understanding the business and then like me, my creative, like I can creatively think of some shit in my mind put it on the board, and if we execute it correctly, my way, even to the T of how it's being shot, set a, a fan, it needs to be a cinematic rise up of it, and you see what's going on around me, like what the fuck is going on? Cause I'm also, when I'm thinking of the shit, I'm thinking of what's gonna make people be like, oh shit, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Or wow, no, I never thought I'd see him do this or do that. And even hiring like the ADs, picking the cameras, Understanding the lighting, understanding the overtime. I had to, I had to learn overtime. Mm -hmm. Overtime? Oh my God! Smacking me! Smacking me! I'm oh shit! Overtime on the set, and then they made and they make me valuable. All the guys behind the cameras, all the guys who are putting the mics up and doing the lights, because I see what it takes to do this shit. Like the risk, climbing up shit and building shit, and the pressure of getting my vision done too like people be taking their shit serious a lot of people don't know what it takes to be these people behind the cameras and the production and thinking just pulling up with cameras and just doing shit no it's like the way shit need to be shot then i got good team people that we are using are doing it with a care and not like a job after the album i'm planning on doing a short film for the album and i'm proud of myself man i shot two videos which is jealousy and uh fan mm -hmm with this whole situation of up my own money, pay for everything, get the location. With my team, I got a crazy team. Blessed to have them, all young. Yeah, man, I'm just trying to make sure I'm touching everything that I could touch. On here, you got young Nudie. Yeah. Bro building, he been building nice for some time. For some time, and he stayed down. You got him on this dope boy joint. Yeah, dope boy. The street record, but it's still like in a different pocket with the with the production. Right. 
it ain't so trappy. It's still like got that bounce. So when 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 you say that, because there's a few records on here, you know, hop out the van. Yeah. The hop out the van, I changed my whole voice tone too. That's what like, I'm on saying. Some experimental shit. I like hop out the van. I like it too. I like that beat. Dun, 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 dun. It jumped out to me. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Pockets tight. Beat was tight. It was to the point. It was a different flow. It's a little uncomfortable for me when I did it, but. Grew into it, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then dissolve. I'm putting my vocals in. Now this is different. This is supposed to be. This is supposed to give you like a soulful. When you used to ride with your mama, and you were six since eight years old. What she used to listen to vibe. And when I do the video, I'm telling you now. I'm coming on some Andre shit. I might go. I might go. My baby don't you know, raise. I might, I might go wig on them. Yeah. Just so they can visually catch the vibe of some old soulful shit. Cause we missing that man. We Don, he giving it to us. Shout out to Don. You know what I'm talking about. I know that, exactly that, what you're that, saying. That, son. that 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 make you want to get on the knee music. Yeah. Not even that make you want to have well, so sex. So here's but... the other part, and you know, I don't think a lot of people understand this. It's been discussed for years, but you know, I always say real street dudes that ain't listening to all that. Hooting and hollering and ops and spinning the block all day every day. That right? shit running out of juice. In about two years, I ain't seen one of them songs in the top 10. I was just making a whole narrative that ain't it. Right. Even with us Migos trap records, like, there still was a story in the trapping. You're still, like, giving a, like, Hannah Montana's a trap record. We're talking about selling dope, but it's a, a young white girl at college is like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like catching both worlds. Because yeah. I'm not going to never downplay my shit. We come from that. You know what I mean? We come from right. trap and street records, but, like, it's cool to, like, Make your street record where it's like still gonna catch the people that you never thought it'd catch. Take some thinking into it. Like, don't go like, make a street record where it's like universal street words too. I'm just coming in to the goddamn change this. I'm, 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 I'm gonna fuck this shit up, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Set it off. Set it off. I'm gonna set this shit off. Set it, set it, off. Shit off. Set it and give me the game. I ain't gonna hide the game from you. Watch your boy. Don't copy, but learn something. Set it off the album. You can go get it on Apple Music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.